conversation when the, the uh, continuation was taken away and it looked like you, you wanted to challenge, were you told it was unchallengeable, but you were stuck with the timeout? What, what happened there? Yeah, I, I didn't know that uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't challenge that. Um, so it was, it was my bad. So I, I called a timeout to challenge it. And, and so uh, I was hoping that, uh, you know, it, it, it be, when he explained the rule to me, I said, okay, I don't want the timeout met because I took the timeout just to challenge it. And they said no. <laughs> so. Mike, you, you'd mentioned eating stops. I'm curious if um, D. Aaron's, I think he spent about six minutes on the bench there in the fourth quarter before coming back. Uh, midway through the I don't know, third minute, with three minutes left or two minutes left, um, but was that part of the the idea that, that you wanted to get stops and, and try to create some separation there? Well, so so what we were thinking going at Davion, that group was playing well, and so I was going to let that group roll. Uh, but then you know, I, I I felt it was time to give not only uh, um, a Mitchell Donovan Mitchell a different look. But also us a different look offensively, and you know I thought the combination of uh, Kevin Herter and, and Malik Monk were really good on the backside of that action. They started playing games with the, you know with each other and with the defense, and and uh, so you know I, again I, I think Foxy's an all star. Um, what we have to do to help him get there is we got to have a, a decent record, uh, but he also has to show that he's a two way player. And so for me, hey, Fox, you know, step up, run the team. If you can score, score for us. But you also got to guard Donovan. This is the time to show people that you can do it. And he was great. You know, you're not going to shut a guy like Donovan Mitchell down. I mean, he was unbelievable. I don't even know it. 35, 35, 38. Unbelievable. I mean, the shots that he was hitting, he just looked so easy for him. But Fox took on the challenge the last two, three minutes of the ball game and helped us get the win. Mike, you guys are learning how to finish games. Yeah. Just how close are you getting to that? And I mean, clearly you don't have air, but if you did, I mean, <clears> you'd be <throat> pulling your hair, oh. hair <laughs> out uh, with these every single game seems yeah. to be white knuckle all the way down the stretch and just back and forth. No, it, it is true. It, if I had hair, I would be pulling it out. But, uh, I, you know, I, I give our guys credit. They're, they're, they're they're really trying to do what we're asking them to do. Also, too, I got to take ownership in it. You know, I I wasn't good early on because I'm still learning the team. You know, I didn't really have a feel of who to put on the floor. I put guys on the floor, but I wasn't always confident about it because I didn't know. I didn't know the group. I didn't know how they would respond with the lights on and two minutes ago in a tight ball game. And uh, so we're all learning and growing together, and we're learning each other. Uh, we're learning how to execute offensively. Uh, we're finding ways to get stops. And uh, as long as we keep trending upwards, which we're doing, and again, every once in a while we'll take a dip, and we'll live with that because uh, if we take a dip with the way these guys are working and how together they are, we won't dip for long. But uh, as long as we keep trending upwards, you know, include myself and my staff, then uh, I think we'll get better in, in, in these types of situations. But uh, like I said, there's a good team. Uh, it feels good to get one. Mike uh, Harrison talked a little bit about um, how being resilient is, is part of the story of this team early in the season. Yeah. Um, you know, the experiences you guys have had, um, how much is that helping to, to kind of form an identity? And, and how important is that early in a, a year for a team like yours? It's extremely important, especially early on, because, you know, we obviously first need to understand that the work that we put in, starting with this offseason, carried into to training camp, and now into the regular season, uh, it, it, it mattered. And to find ways to stay together and keep fighting, because there have been a lot of situations where we were down big at Golden State game one, at Charlotte. Um, I'm sure there's others that I'm missing. And for us to just stay together and keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, and have give ourselves a chance to win down the stretch, uh, at this point with a new team and a new staff and guys that haven't won at a high level in the past, it helps with that belief. And you have to have a belief in order to get over the hump. 
and uh, that's what these guys are starting to really feel. And if that group in there truly buys into the belief that it should be there, the sky's the limit for that group. Yeah, Coach, you talked about, you have talked about before, the impact that maybe different minutes or, or short spurts has on players and you getting used to what maybe your ideal rotation is. And I'm sure there's variance every single night, but do you feel like you're getting a good idea of what your rotation will typically look like? Yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this is the most comfortable I felt going into a game, most at ease, relaxed, however you want to call it, because I do feel like I'm starting to know the team better. Uh, they're starting to know me better, they're starting to know each other better. And uh, the more times we step out on the floor, uh, I think the better that's going to be, you know, at the end of the day. And, and uh, if we take care of the things that we can control with as talented as the group is and as hard as they work and as together as they are, with everybody being all in, uh, the wins and losses are going to take care of itself, you know. Uh, we, we talked about before the season, that you know, we're, we're looking at this thing in, 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 with, in, in many seasons, looking at every five games. And there are benchmarks that we want to hit after every five games. And you know, obviously the first five we were one and four. Uh, this five we were three and two. And uh, with the two being games that could have gone either way for us. And uh, so we need to keep understanding that this is going to be a marathon. We don't need to look at it as, as a marathon. Um, <clears throat> we need to look at it as we need to be present with where we are and understand it. And, and if we if we are present and understand where we are and trying to get better every day, um, like I said, wins and losses will take care of itself because this group is is really good together. Mike Trey Lyles looks really confident and comfortable in yeah. his role. Will you speak a little bit on what you're seeing out of him consistently? I, I, you know, the, the neat part about this is coming from another team, and especially uh, running the defense, you can kind of tell these guys um, what, the, what we felt, what I felt their shortcomings were when we had to guard them or play against them. And I told Trey, I said, I said Trey, when I was with the Warriors, I said, we told our guys to close short on you because we know that you want to shot fake and drive. And I said, you're way too good of a shooter for that. Ain't even close. You shouldn't be shot faking at all. Let that MF fly. And um, that's what he's doing. He's letting it fly. And he can shoot. He, he can be an elite shooter. And now the thing about it is he can do more than that. Um, he's playing extremely hard. He's trying to rebound for us. You know, defensively, he's trying to defend. Um, he, he just just his presence on the floor is creating space for others. And now every blue moon, if they run you off the line, you have the skill set to go make a play. That's when you need to go make a play. And he's bought into that role, and he's been fantastic. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks Thank you guys. Me.